Allah knows what he created. Islam is very clear. It's showing you more what you shouldn't do and what you should do rather than tell you how to enjoy life and have fun because <laughs> Allah knows you're going to go for that. We all go for that. He doesn't have to give you a manual on how to goof off and hang out and do stuff. You don't need a manual for that. You need to know what not to do while you're goofing off. Know what to do while you're working in your business and so on. So this, you will find a lot of rules and regulations because without these, how would we act? And I want to, I want to draw a parallel to something that we can all relate to. And that is an automobile. Now, if I start talking to you about a car, a Mercedes, a Jaguar, if I start talking to you about a Volvo, if I talk to you about a, any kind of sports car, what are you imagining about the car? Driving it, riding around in it, top down, wind blowing, honking the horn, making noise, racing it up. Most of you, some of you, maybe you're thinking about taking it all apart and changing the parts out on it, maybe. Getting all greasy and having fun with it. Maybe, I don't know. But how many of you were thinking, yes, cars, let's talk about the manual of how to drive your car on the road. Okay, you can't go over this speed and you got to stop here and get, nah, you weren't thinking about that, come on. So the Quran is providing you the manual, the rules and regulations, knowing all the time that you're going to have your experiences of, you know, fun, enjoyment, and everything in between. I've had people ask me about that. I said, you know, where's the fun? Well, the fun is knowing what you're supposed to do, what the limits are. Because it really isn't fun if you're hurting somebody else. Really, it's not. That's not fun. And, but a lot of times we don't realize we hurt somebody. So these limits are there for a reason.